Hi everybody, Maggie Massey here for Heidi Swap. Today I'm just going to walk you through a couple of techniques that I use to make this card. Um, this is a birthday card that I made for one of my friends and I used a few different techniques with Heidi's brand new mixed media line now available at Michael's and I just want to give you a little how-to. These techniques are all super fun, pretty easy. Um, they do require a tad bit of practice, but I hope that you will try them and you will see just how fun they are and how much they can add to a project. Okay, so we're going to take apart this card. All I had was a little um, clothespin and I attached just a little ribbon um, seam binding and I layered up some papers, uh, just layered up these different cards that came in Heidi's new card kit. This is also available at Michael's and it's part of her new mixed media line. Um, these are all cards that are in that particular kit except for this lace paper. And this is actually part of this package of lace paper, 12 different pieces, six different designs to each um, of each design. And all I did with this was cut it in half. This is the other half of that piece of lace paper. These went together somehow. I don't know. They went together maybe like this and I just cut them so that this would fit on my card. Okay, so let's go through this piece by piece and I'll show you exactly what I did. First of all, I want to show you and I want to explain to you, in Heidi's new mixed media line, she has so many fantastic pro products. First, she has these great silk screens that you can use with your paper. And if you've never used a silk screen, they are so fun. And I'll give you a little run through on these. Um, she's got a whole bunch of different designs. In fact, she's got silk screen kits that come with silk screen ink and little creative caution tape. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. And this little plastic Heidi Swap Scraper. Those all come in the silk screen kits. And then she's got individual silk screens that are like this. They each come two in a package. And she's got a number of different themed packages. Um, thank yous, uh, wedding, this is enjoy the ride. This is what I'm using for birthday. A number of other ones. Um, she's also got a bunch of um, album kits that you can use with her brand new square hold cinch, which is so cool. And she has this fantastic texture paste, and we'll go through that too. All right, but let's start with this silk screen. And what I'm going to do is take one of the cards that came from this kit that I just showed you. It's just a little three by four scalloped card. And silk screens are so cool. Let me show you this just peels off its backing. And a silk screen is sort of like a stencil, except that where you have the negative spaces here, it's actually like a little screen, like your back door screen, um, except the holes are much, much smaller. And this is where the paint will go through, or excuse me, the ink will go through and create your design. The back of the silk screen is sticky, so you can just lie that right on top of your paper and press it down. And you'll see the silk screen ink really, uh, it doesn't wash off perfectly. You won't be able to get it off your silk screen, but don't worry, it does, the paint does come right out of the screen and that is what is important. You will wanna wash your silk screens as soon as you are done using them. Okay, so here we're going to do, um, this is the black silk screen ink. This is called Art Screen Ink in black and this is how we do it. We just take take off the top, put a little bit. You really don't need much. Maybe a pea size amount of ink. And you take your handy dandy scraper and just pull the ink down over the screens. And you can go any way you want to. and you're just kind of pulling the ink down. I'm holding the scraper at about a 30 degree angle from the table and applying a little bit of pressure and just pulling it right down. 
Now this silk screen covered my card, so I didn't have to worry about any of the ink getting on my card. If you are doing your silk screen on top of a bigger card, say something like this, you may want to use your creative caution tape around the edges, um, and this, if you do happen to go off the edge of the silk screen, this will make sure that the ink does not get onto your project. Okay, so then we just take our card, pull off the silk screen, let's see, and you can see our image start to appear. We have this beautiful, beautiful personalized card. I did get a little of the ink right there, but I think that's because it was on my fingers. Okay, now we will have to wash this right away. You can take a baby wipe and just put it on there. When you are washing them, um, make sure all the ink comes off of the screen. I like to use a really gentle soap too, like a Dawn dishwashing liquid. You don't have to, it does come off with water. And then to dry them, I just lie them face down on a towel or paper towel so that the sticky part doesn't get any lint on it. And they dry fairly quickly. I just allow them to air dry. But I'm gonna put that off to the side. And there we have our card. Now this um, art screen ink is awesome because it is, let's see, this one is not sparkly, but, well, they're kind of, I wish you could see this. They are sparkly. You can kind of see the grain, not the, I don't know the right word, not the grain, but you can see the sparkle in there. It's really beautiful up close, and especially with the lighter colors, the teal and the pink and the gold, you just get this beautiful, beautiful look. Now we're gonna let this dry. Just takes a minute, doesn't take too long, but I don't wanna touch it before it's dry because it will smear. Okay, so let's move this off to the side. This is how I did this card. Now, when my um, ink was dry on this card, I just went in with some Butter Color Shine and just lightly sprayed over the top. There are a million videos on the web of how to use Color Shine if you've never used it before. And then I just went back and used, opened up my bottle, took just my sprayer right here and just tapped some ink splots over the top of my card. And that was it. That finished up that card. Okay, so one down. We've got that, we've got our silk screen. So easy, really, you guys, you have to try it because it's so fun and so easy and it makes the coolest effect, one that you just won't get with stamps. Also, this ink is slightly raised on here. So it just gives you that real rich, classy feeling, you know, that stamps sometimes just can't. Okay, that's that. Here we've got our lace paper. With this one too, I just took some of the Butter Color Shine and just sprayed right over the top. I kind of only did half of it so that the other half of the flower stayed white. And then next, this card, I just left blank because I really kind of liked the way that this all layered up looked. And I didn't want to use a lot of more color on here. I, I just kind of wanted to, to this, I wanted to have this be the cover because on this card is where I'll write my sentiment. I did another silk screen down here. This was the bike that came with the Enjoy the Ride. And I did this in teal as well. And it's so, so lovely. This card is gold foiled, so it's super sparkly. And now I'm going to show you how I did this texture paste. This is fun too, and this is fantastic because it's really, well, because you know the name, textured paste, this is all textured. You can feel they're like little risen dots, or little raised dots right here. Let me show you how I did that. I did that with this stencil, and we are just going to use a piece of cardstock so I can show you what we did here. And we'll use the same, um, scraper. I'm just going to wipe this off. You can use baby wipes, um, soap. This is plastic, so this will come off uh, easily. That um, art screen ink comes off fairly easily. You'll want to take the texture paste off a little more quickly because once that dries, it's just kind of a pain to get off. It will come off, but it's a little harder. Okay, so we've got this. 
and we are going to use the Ooh, let's use the pink texture paste. It's metallic, so you'll get that beautiful shine. And because there's no stickies on this stencil, I am going to use my little washi tape. And when I did this, I just kind of wanted a little of these pin dots. I didn't want to go all the way across. I didn't want them to be too uniform. I didn't want them to, you know, form a, a complete rectangle on here. I just wanted it to be a little bit messy. So we're going to do the same thing here. And with this, I just push out a little bit of texture paste. Again, depending on how much area you need to cover. I'm just using a small pea size amount and I'm sure that'll be plenty. And I take my scraper and again, just like with the screen ink, I'm just going to go over the top. If you don't use your tape to hold this down, you will want to make sure that you hold your stencil because it will move on you. We just go over the top and again you can use your tape so that you make sure that you don't get your uh, texture paste on any part of the your design that you don't want it on. And we just go like that. Now I I like my texture paste to be smooth on top. You can kind of just go in and glop that on so it's more raised, um, more textured. You know, some of the areas are, are higher than others. But I like mine smooth, so I do like to go over the top. But all the paste will then settle into the stencil. And when you pull your stencil up, I'll just take that off. You've got this fantastic design and I'm not sure that you can see that but they are little raised bumps and they are this color is so fantastic it looks like bubble gum it's just beautiful and this will dry again you want to wait a little while for this to dry because if you do touch it let me show you here if you don't wait see that just smears right off and you don't want that to happen so set this aside until it dries that's what I did here I did my silk screen first, let that dry, came in with my texture paste, my gold texture paste, let that dry, then I sprayed it with a little more butter color shine, just like I did this one, and just kind of on the edges, and then I went over the top of that um, with a paper towel just to soak up any excess, and then I'm going to show you one more thing that I did here. Okay, we're going to put this to the side to dry. As part of the collection, um, part of the mixed media collection, Heidi has released a whole bunch of foil rub-ons. And these are so cool. She had some of these, where did I put that? She had some of these with her um, Wanderlust collection as well. And, okay, so I found these. She's got alphabets and um, patterns. Down here you can see that I actually used, see how shiny they are? Some little pin dots here, just because I wanted to add a little bit more, a um, little bit more shine to this part of the card. And I'm going to show you how these work on a piece of paper. These are fantastic. And I'm, you know, when you get something that you're like, how did I ever do projects without this before. I mean, I feel like I could use these on everything. Okay, now because these are rub-ons, I like to cut out my letters and do them like that. So we're going to use an X. And we'll use our piece of cardstock here and my little rub-on tool and we'll take this off and you guys have all done rub-ons you know how to do this um, put that on and then just rub your letter on now what's neat about this is when you rub these letters on the surface is a little bit sticky so after you have your letter on you come back with some of this foil and you get a piece of gold and a piece of silver in these packages which is awesome and I just am going to cut a little piece off you don't have to cut it but 
I like to cut it so that I'm not working with a giant piece of foil over one little letter. And now you just place this um, foil side up and just with your finger just lightly go over the top of your letter. And that's all you need. You do not need your uh, tool at all. You don't need to rub that on. In fact, if you do rub it on, it's the effect is not as nice and you'll find that the foil doesn't stick as evenly. Okay, so I pull that off and there I have this beautiful gold foiled X. And I think that I'm going to go back on mine and add happy birthday to mine as well with these gold foil letters. But you see, that's what I did right there. So we have all these techniques that I used on this one little card, and it really, once I figured out what I wanted to do, really doesn't take very long. I think the longest, you know, the longest time you're waiting is for everything to dry. That's it, and you know you can go do other stuff while you're waiting for, the, for that. So here's my card all put together. Got my little seam binding in there, beautiful colors, beautiful textures, beautiful designs, and really not not too much time taken. Thanks so much. I hope that you learned a little something and I hope that you give silk screen and texture paste and these gold foil rub-ons and silver foil rub-ons a try. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.